Here we find the rare bee anchor, thriving in his natural habitat, with nothing but the fresh air around him. He hears the communication of his various teammates, but does he really hear them? Drop smokes A. I'm all it off. Ah. Where are you? Rotate A. But the bee anchor would not rotate. He preferred his cozy little spot here at the van, with cover from all sides and only one place to watch. The bee anchor lived a simple life. Sometimes, however, his legs would grow tired, so he would go sit on the bench. Although he lives a solemn life, the bee anchor is not devoid of cooperation. In a rare instance of team play, one of his teammates will assist him up onto the sight boxes. Once there, the bee anchor will not leave this elevated position for any reason. For if this is one of the rare rounds where he encounters terrorists, he must be ready for a fight. This, however, was not one such round. But it would happen. Soon. As flashes rain above from the apartments, the bee anchor grows nervous of this impending assault. But he steadies himself, pulling out his trusty Molotov. He shall stop this take in one grenade, one click of the mouse, or so he thinks. You see, things rarely go to plan here on the bee site. The terrorists were upon him, ready to deal the killing blow to their prey. However, the bee anchor had one more trick up his sleeve. He steadies his hand and reaches for that one fateful button. I think there be. The A and mid players are fast, used to responding to new information. Just not fast enough. As his vision went white, he could start to see that place beyond. He wasn't scared. He knew his time had come. And as his corpse lay lifeless on the site, he reflected back on the memories he had in this little corner of the map, realizing it would soon be leveled by the terrorist bomb blast. It was a life well lived and time well spent. He wouldn't trade this for any other position. Because he wasn't good enough to play them. <laughs>